。火星是四颗类地行星中最像地球的一颗，因此让科学家想尽办法探测这个看似毫无生机的星球。NASA 日前终于宣布火星上有液态水了，也间接鼓励着可能存在生物的各种想象，令科学家们相当振奋。好莱坞电影《绝地救援》The Martian 中，巨星迈特戴蒙意外受困火星，想尽办法活下来。现在这个电影剧情已经受 NASA 认证，绝非空穴来风，因为 NASA 已经证实火星有液态水存在。探测火星的任务一直是在追寻水的踪迹，来证明火星上有微生物的存在。NASA 在九月二十八号宣布了一项重大发现：火星上有液态水，夏天时甚至会在地表流动。Uh, and today's announcement of of a really fascinating result about current water on Mars is one of the reasons why I feel it's even more imperative that we send astrobiologists and planetary scientists to Mars to explore the question. Of is there current life on Mars? 研究发现，在距今四十三亿年前，火星曾有比北极海更大的海洋。另外，火星探测器“好奇号”最近也发现火星表面下层有液态水。而这次科学家根据火星上一条条黑长条纹，顺着火星表面的陡坡而下的季节性斜坡纹线，对火星上有液态水的假设提出了最直接的证据。Mars suffered a major climate change. And lost its surface water. Today, we're revolutionizing our understanding of this planet. Our rovers are finding that there's a lot more humidity in the air than we ever imagined. As we ingest the soils, they're moist, they're hydrated, full of water. NASA 在火星发现液态水后，更进一步说明有水就有微生物存在的可能，也代表着有可利用的资源。These observations from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter are giving us a much better view that Mars has resources that are useful to future travelers.、Uh, when you have water, you know, what's water? Hydrogen and oxygen. That's what we make rocket fuel out of. 探索星球的当下。科学家们也同时针对伴随侦测可能产生的问题，提出星球保护 （planetary protection）， 认为所有的探测活动必须确定是否会造成其他星球的污染，像是探测器必须保证干净，让人类的火星梦永续下去。